Hello guys, how is it going? Today we continue the mission guide series with Sanctum K. This time I'm going to play with my Paragon using Heroic Refrain, the new elite skill. Might be a surprise for you to see an elementalist hero in my team, but sadly my para does not have a second ritualist hero yet. Or she did not have when I made this video. And I had to fill the gap with something. About the mission I can tell you this is quite easy nowadays, but before 2011 as people took the restless spirit to his final resting place, it also triggered uh, Vizier Kilburn's spawn at the docks, which many times resulted in mission failure. So people usually did the bonus and the primary on different occasions. Luckily this was fixed and now Sanctum K is an easy to do mission. Anyway, there are no great tips here, just make sure to have like 2 or 3 Mesmer heroes and you will be fine. Upon entering the mission we find ourselves at the docks, Evernia is waiting for us with the Scepter of Ore. Get the Scepter and go in the direction of the Inferno Imps. For Millie, the first part of the mission can be very annoying since every time you find some enemies you will have to drop the Scepter and kill the mobs and pick it up again. Anyway, for Paragon this is a good idea to give Anthem of Flame for one of the heroes to maintain HR on all party members more easily. And more arrays come now, Lightning Drakes, this can be deadly if you don't have some interrupts or shelter spirit in your team. Once you kill them all, move on the beach and talk to the restless spirit. Taking him to the Vizier is the first task of the bonus. Guys, this is important, he will follow the scepter as long as you have it in your hands, but if you drop it, he will stop, plus he can easily get body blocked in minions, spirit, etc. So always keep an eye on him. After we have got the spirit's attention, we can focus on the primary again. In the next few minutes we enter the undead's territory. They are no threat, but it could be a good idea to have some sort of holy damage to kill them more quickly like judges inside for melees to deal double damage. Be careful at the bridge area, easy to overgrow here, then clerics can heal these undead to some extent, but honestly it does not matter what you kill first, they will go down quite soon. After the bridge there is a boss, random which one you get, but should not cause too many problems. Few white mantle groups can be found in the next sandy area. Try to kill the white mantle savants first, they can harm the party with some nasty fire magic spells. Moving on, two groups of Hellhounds, they have a ton of HP with Endure Pain and after these we reach the Swamp. Back in the days this used to be a tough place, especially the Bone Dragons group. Constant HP loss due to the poison, interrupts from choking gas, Hellhounds and Rangers. Spirit of Primal Echoes to prevent the use of Rest Signets. Of course those days are long gone, in 2021 we can easily YOLO through them. And fun fact, this dragon was named Rotscale as well, but this caused misunderstandings and developers changed his name to simply Bone Dragon. Once all undeads are dead, use the lever, clear the area out of the fire imps and giants, but don't forget the restless spirit either, he has to be inside the fort when you talk to Vizier Kilbron or the bonus is over. Best if you check his presence after every enemy group. On top of the hill Vizier spawns, the restless spirit is here. Alright, we are good, can trigger the cutscene. Vicky says if you talk to the smoke phantoms they will join the fight. 
Unfortunately, I forgot to do that, but don't you worry guys, the rest of the mission will not be any harder than before. Okay, we can start the trip back to the docks. First talk to the restless spirit once more. He will say that the vizier gave him a chance to rest in peace, but must be taken to his grave. This will be a small detour from the docks, like an extra 2 minutes. But now we got to destroy all the white mantles in our way, focus on the sevens like I said and follow the road. Few more white pantlers along the road, I will speed up this part a bit and finally we'll reach the docks. There is a boss group here, finish them and keep south or southwest. So before 2011 this was the part when people had to choose what to do, either finish the mission or complete the bonus. Because as we came close to this spot the white mantle gathered at the spawn point of Kilbron. Finally we reach the graveyard, go till the dead end, wait up the spirit and the bonus is completed. Now we can go back to the docks, trigger vizier spawn and wait for the incoming white mantles. Approximately it takes 2 minutes and 20 seconds for vizier to summon the magical ship. In the meantime protect him, you can even watch the ship coming out of the water. This is kind of well made compared to a 2005 game. When Kilbrom is ready, get on the boat and the mission is completed. So guys, this is how you do Sanctum K with heroes, it takes roughly 20 minutes with the bonus. Give this with a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and see you next time.